Taurus, Virgo, Moon, Pris, Virgo, Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever you guys happen to watch this time of love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then the reading is for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. All right. Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement? For whenever they happen to watch this timeless reading. have the lovers we have the princess of pentacles the hermit princess of wings <laughs> the eight of pentacles the two of swords temperance <laughs> the nine of swords and the queen of wands overall energies the empress knowing your value knowing your worth whether you divine masculine or divine feminine Knowing that what is for you will not pass you by, whether it be in business, career, or love. Like, this is a love reading, okay? So, for some of y'all, y'all thought y'all found the one, but you weren't so sure. And as time progressed on, when you were with a particular person, they revealed themselves. They were treating you like you were a page, when all along they were the page. You were the emperor or the empress. They were treating you like a page. Okay. Um, the only thing I can say to you guys is that you must have had to learn some deep lessons from this person. This karmic energy here. But the lovers. That's Gemini energy. Okay. You had to make a choice whether or not you were going to love this person or love yourself. And I feel like a lot of y'all had to go within and you made the decision to love yourself. This is the message that you were meant to hear. That in order for you to find it is find what you think you want and love and life in general, you have to love yourself first. Okay? I feel like there were a lot of signs, a lot of people telling you certain things, but they were hinting around about a particular person that you were dealing with. Or some people just sat back and just watched you and watched everything unfold the way that, that it unfolded with this particular person, okay? Check it out how it resonates for you. Um, I feel like now once you've taken heed to the message that, hey, you have to love yourself first, now I feel like you guys are working on yourself. You're trying to balance things out within yourself and move forward with your life. With the two of swords here, I feel like for some of y'all, uh, people might have tried to tell you something about a particular person that you were dealing with, but at the time you didn't want to hear it. You were all about that person. I feel like a lot of that was how it had to play out for some of y'all. Take it how it resonates. A lot of y'all couldn't see the forest for the trees. You couldn't see that a particular person was no good for you for whatever reason. It's a case-by-case -case scenario. You know what it was. Or maybe you're figuring it out. With tempers here, I feel like spirit is telling you that you had to learn those lessons and you had to be patient with yourself. Um, this is Sagittarius energy too, by the way. Okay, Sagittarius placements. But I feel like a lot of y'all still have anxiety and obsess over what you feel like you did wrong. It's good to reflect, but it's not good to obsess. It's good to wonder or ponder, but not good to, like I say, have this nagging of, okay, I didn't trust myself. You know who you are. If you didn't know, now you know you're the emperor or the empress, the king or the queen of wands, okay? That's your natural energy. You're going to attract in the type of person who can match that energy because you've built yourself up this time. You're not falling for the snakes and the fakes, I just heard. You're going to navigate like an empress or an emperor or a queen of wands or a king of wands. Take it how it resonates. You're not going to allow someone to keep teaching you someone the same type of energy 
in a different body. You're not doing that. You're not <laughs> because all the the only thing you're learning is the same lesson over and over again when you uh, deal with the same type of person or a person that plays the same type of games. It's like, have you really truly learned your lesson or are you just settling for less than what you deserve? Some of y'all have really truly learned your lessons and then others of y'all have more lessons to learn. But it's okay. You have to remain patient and diligent with yourself. For some of y'all, it's to know that, hey, you're just as worthy as anybody and you deserve the best, okay? For others of y'all, is that and then some. It's all by a case-by-case basis, okay? So let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for my Sagittarius? Okay. That's one that flipped over and we're going to take that one, okay? All right, let's see here. It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right, okay? So for some of y'all, y'all might be still in the situation where you're trying to decide whether or not you're going to choose a particular person or choose yourself. That's up to you. I cannot tell you, okay? But you, I do know that whatever the case may be, whether you're in a union or not in a union, you have to let the past go in order for you to move forward, okay? So this says the past is now behind you, see? Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Have patience, have faith, and know that spirit is guiding you in the right direction. Okay? You're the emperor or the empress, the king of wands or the queen of wands. Spirit has your back. You got this. Whatever it is. Or whoever it is is supposed to be coming into your life, you will be guided to them and they will be guided to you. Don't fret. Okay? So that's all I have for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.